When exporting batches from DocMe Capture, you may export them one at a time or in groups. If you export batches from different batch profiles in the same group, you will not be able to utilize the automatic folder creation and file name based on an index field. To utilize these features, you should export batches from different batch profiles in separate groups or from separate machines. In this tutorial, we will only be covering exporting to a local or networked folder location. First, select the batches you want to export and click Add. Choose the folder destination to export the files to. Notice that you have the option to delete the first page of each document in case there are leftover separation pages or index data lead sheets. If you would like to create folders based on index values, select the With Foldering option. With this option, you are able to create a single level or multi-level folder structure based on the data that was typed in or captured during the index and zone recognition process. Select the index field you wish to use to create the folder names and click the arrow to add it to the foldering path box. The order that the fields are listed in indicates the folder level representation. Please note that with this option, if a folder name already exists in the folder destination, the files will be added to the same folder. If the folder name does not yet exist in the destination, a new folder will be created. Next, choose the file name preferences. By using the default numeric file name option, your exported files will be named according to the method set in the file name tab of the batch profile settings. Using the Use Index Fields as File Name option, your exported files will be named based on the data that was typed in or captured during the index and zone recognition process. To name your files based on the values of a single index field, use the drop down to select that index field. To name your files based on the values of multiple index fields, use the drop down to select the first index field, then set a value separation such as a space, underscore, or comma. Then select the next field that should appear in the file name. You may combine up to five index field values to create the file name. Choose the image type and compression. The compression options will be dependent upon the image type that is chosen. Choose whether to export with or without OCR. OCR is the process of recognizing the text on the scanned image in order to make the file searchable based on the content of the file itself. Make sure to choose the proper language option for the text OCR, as this will make the OCR results much more accurate. You have the option to choose multiple languages for the OCR engine to detect if your file contains more than one language, either on the same page or within the same document. Please note the language combinations are limited and the second language option is dependent upon the first language chosen. For PDF files, the compression options are only available when performing OCR. Since these are IHQC file size compressions that are performed by the Iris OCR engine, the higher the image quality is, the larger the file size will be. Next, select whether to export using a standard flat file .txt format or choose one of our predefined export script formats from the list of options. When using the flat file option, you're able to customize the delimiter and also decide whether to include the file path in the flat file or whether to only list the file name. The flat file option will produce a .txt file type for the index data. Each document will be represented on a separate line in the text file. When using the predefined export script option, the format and file type of the index data file is dependent upon the script selected. We are able to add more scripts to your system on a custom basis. When exporting from multiple batch profiles in one group on the same machine, a separate index data file will be created for each batch profile. All batches for each profile will be contained in the same index data file. When simultaneously exporting from multiple stations at one time, even for the same batch profile, a separate index data file will be created for each station that is exporting. 
when exporting to the same folder path location as a previously exported index data file for the same batch profile, the index data will append to the existing index data file for the batch profile if the text file is named by the profile name. If you would like a separate index data file, make sure to rename the indexing data file or move the file into a subfolder. After all export location, image, and data options are set, the last option is to export a system info file that contains tracking and export information for the batch. This helps identify when a batch was exported and when files and index data belong to each batch in case you need to recover and re-import the batch later. Check the system info box and select all the items in the list. Make sure they are all highlighted blue. Upon export, a trace file log will be in the exported path location. If exporting all batches from the same batch profile after all export options have been set, you are able to save the settings to a template file for the batch profile. Click the Save Template button. Once a template is saved, when exporting other batches from the same batch profile, the settings will be remembered and present. To overwrite or change the template settings, make the appropriate changes to the export module and click the Save Template option again. Once you're done, you are ready to start the export. Click the Export button. Depending upon the options set, such as image type and OCR, the export will take anywhere from two to five seconds per page. Exporting with OCR and higher image quality will take the longest amount of time. 